Welcome to Sheboygan County Government, working for you. My name is Adam Payne, Sheboygan County Administrative Coordinator and co-host of this program with Chairman Bill Gehring. And today we're very pleased to have a special guest from UW Extension, UW Extension agent Mike Bolwig, who has been doing some real good work for Sheboygan County for a number of years and most recently has taken an important leadership role with Farm Technology Days. Mike, good to have you with us. Uh, glad to be here. Mike, please begin sharing a little bit about your roles and responsibilities as a UW Extension agent, your specialties, and uh, how long you've been working for Sheboygan County. Yeah, <clears throat> I've been uh, here in Sheboygan County uh, serving as an agricultural uh, agent uh, for about the, uh, the past 19 years. Um, I specialize in the, uh, uh, in the agronomy area, in the plant science, and also uh, provide leadership in uh, developing educational programs uh, for uh, horticultural um, programs, educational programs here in the county. So uh, <clears throat> my other uh, sort of uh, unique uh, role the last uh, three and a half years has been serving as the uh, executive uh, secretary for uh, Farm Technology Days uh, coming up next month uh, here in Sheboygan County. So as the executive secretary, you're taking all the minutes and doing a lot of the behind the scenes work and probably not really getting out there in front or? Well, I've, uh, I've done some of both. I've uh, been out. I'm and, kidding out. you. I know you've been <laughs> leading, Mike. Uh, yeah, uh, a little bit of both and uh, try to uh, provide the overall uh, direction and, uh, and uh, coordination and uh, leadership for uh, getting our, um, our volunteers and committees uh, up, to, uh, up to speed to uh, host, a, host a great show. Well, before we get into the show, let's talk a little bit more about you and your roles and responsibilities. 19 years with Sheboygan County, uh, Chairman Gehring and I have had uh, Dave Such on the program a few times, so I think our viewers certainly might be familiar with Dave Such and the work he does, but again, you have a little different angle, a little different responsibilities. Where are you predominantly working? What ed educational programs do you work with when you're not leading the charge with the Farm Technology uh, yeah. Show? Um, like I said, my uh, primary um, educational um, focus <laughs> is in uh, crop sciences, so I work uh, primarily with uh, farmers uh, throughout uh, Sheboygan County to uh, help them uh, understand and implement new technologies that would uh, improve their, their crop uh, cropping practices. Uh, being a dairy county, a lot of that cropping emphasis is on uh, producing and harvesting quality forages, and when I say forages, that's the feed stuff that cows eat, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, good quality uh, harvesting those materials uh, in a timely way uh, is critical for uh, for good production. So, uh, when we also talk about cropping systems, we spend a lot of time uh, discussing uh, wise pesticide use, uh, water quality issues as it relates to uh, to um, uh, soil erosion. So there's quite an emphasis on increasing the, the use of uh, uh, no-till uh, to uh, reduce uh, soil erosion and uh, practices like that. I find, that, at least in my experience, and my grandmother's got a century farm, as you know, in Sheboygan Falls, right. Bernice Toggy, and think the world of her. But um, it's amazing how many people don't have a real appreciation for where that gallon of milk comes and where that cheese comes from and just how important agriculture is. And that's my question. How important is agriculture in Sheboygan County? Well, um, agriculture is very important uh, to our local economy. And when we factor together not only those people that work on farms, but we include all the industries that support them, the veterinarians, the implement dealers, the nutritionists, and also the people uh, that are involved in, in the processing of food, of that raw product, in this case milk primarily, we're looking at about 9,200 jobs here in Sheboygan County are related to, are, are employed in either the, the, uh, the, the production or the, the processing of food products. Uh, so a pretty significant uh, amount. Uh, and when we look at the total uh, economic activity of that, of that contribution, uh, we estimate that our Ag economists have put together some numbers. About $1.67 billion a year of economic activity related to uh, 
to agriculture, and that's about 20% uh, of Sheboygan County's economy. So uh, it's, uh, it, it really is a, a, a big player here in Sheboygan County. Pretty impressive numbers. Yeah. Now you said about 9,200 folks involved with agricultural production. In your role working with predominantly farmers, right. how many farmers do we have, or you know, specifically folks with dairy operations? Yeah. What we, uh, we have about uh, 220 dairy farms. We have about 1,100 farms. Um, but, uh, so there's a lot of people um, that are involved in, in agriculture, uh, some very large farms, and in more recent years, uh, a growing number of, of smaller farms, part-time farmers uh, who uh, uh, enjoy uh, some farming, but uh, most of their income comes from uh, off farm. And come July 11th, 12th, and 13th, we're going to get to showcase Sheboygan County and the agricultural community. And with that, I'll transition to the Farm Technology Days. And please start by sharing, well, how did this come about? How did Sheboygan County come to host uh, the Wisconsin Farm Technology Days? Well, we, we uh, received a call back in uh, 2002. Um, to find out if we might be interested in hosting Farm Technology Days in uh, 2006. So some of the preliminary discussion was uh, uh, in our local UW Extension office with uh, fellow staff. And uh, a little further discussion with the Ag and Land Conservation uh, Committee uh, to sort of feel out their support. And there was support both within our office and from the committee. And uh, at that point, uh, a resolution was put together to the Sheboygan County Board and, um, and was supported uh, in, uh, in April of, uh, I'm sorry, in, in uh, January of, uh, of uh, 03, 2003. So at that point, we were um, sort of cleared on the Sheboygan County side and we made a bid to the Wisconsin Farm Technology Days board and we were awarded the show in April of 2003. April 2000 and I can obviously recall we were reminiscing about that before the program started here about how at the time it seemed like it was such a it was so far out yeah and here it is. Uh, we're three weeks away so. Um, the county board obviously had to support hosting it here we were selected then by the by the state board to, to have it here and when was the last time Sheboygan County hosted this? I was uh, last hosted in uh, Sheboygan County in uh, 1975 on the uh, Robert Webb Farm on the, on the western side of the county uh, 31 years ago. So uh, it's, been, it's, been, it's a, been a while. It's been a while. Some of our viewers are probably wondering, well, what is Farm Technology Days? If built it up here, as it sounds pretty impressive, what is it? What's the purpose of the program? Uh, Farm Technology Days is, um, I guess, first and foremost, uh, uh, the premier uh, egg trade show uh, in Wisconsin each year. And the idea is to provide a venue for, um, for farmers, uh, whether they're part-time or full-time, to come to the show to learn about the latest uh, technologies, uh, uh, innovations, uh, services, and products that they might uh, uh, be able to use to uh, to Im to uh, improve their their farm uh, business. So, those are the, the the two primary and and secondly, as it moves around the uh, the uh, state um, each year, we it's an opportunity for the host county to sort of uh, show off their uh, agricultural practices in that in that area. So, set the stage for us a little bit. Where is it going to be hosted? Give some. Uh acknowledgement to our host family here and, and what can people envision when they think of Farm Technology Days? When, if they go there for the first time this year, what are they going to see? Yeah, let me start first. The, the host farm is, the, um, it, it, their, their farm is called Quonset Farms. It's the uh, Hessling family. The uh, location is just west of the village of uh, Gibbsville. I think most people know where uh, Gibbsville is. But it's a uh, sixth generation family farm uh, started in uh, 1847 and uh, they have about uh, uh, 600 acres of cropland and uh, 800 uh, head of cattle have within the last uh, several years just modernized their uh, their dairy facilities so it's a it's a state-of-the-art uh, 
a modern uh, dairy farm, and uh, the Hessling family. Um, there are uh, Mark and Barb who are the parents. They have uh, three sons that are partners uh, in, the, in the business, uh, Mike, Ben, and Scott. And uh, one of the keys to a successful show is having a great host family, and they have been uh, just absolutely great to work with. So uh, the, uh, things, are, things have gone very, uh, very well on, on that part of the planning process. Good to hear. We, we had the opportunity, Bill and I, to be out there for a media day that yeah. you helped put together and uh, was that fantastic and obviously gave us a little snapshot, but clearly a lot of people involved to make this happen. And uh, again, when someone rolls in that day, what can they expect to see? Well, we... Uh, Sort of the, the centerpiece for the show is this area we call Tent City. And that's literally what it is. It's, uh, it's about 70 or 75 acres um, in size. And it's in that area where exhibitors uh, come in and uh, set up, in many cases, their tents or whatever the exhibit might be. Uh, it's laid out with the uh, streets and, uh, and avenues. And uh, it's an opportunity to, uh, again, to, uh, to learn about the, the latest products uh, that, are, that are being offered by the, by the industry. Excellent. Thanks, Mike. Okay. As Adam mentioned, we were at the media day, and we were really impressed by the organization and the number of people involved. I've heard that there are something like 1,000 volunteers. How do you organize all of those volunteers? Yeah, we, uh, we, we, there, are, there are about 1,000 volunteers. And... Uh, Really, the uh, a little bit more, and I'll just back up and talk a little bit more about my direct involvement. When, uh, when we found out that Sheboygan County was going to be hosting uh, the show, one of my responsibilities was to pull together an executive committee. And there are 15 people on this executive committee. And um, I was uh, very fortunate, I think, to, to, to put together a committee that... Uh, uh, very talented and, uh, you know, has had a lot of experience working with groups of people. So it's those uh, 15 members that have uh, responsibilities pro to provide uh, leadership for a specific uh, committee or activity. And uh, those, you know, included everything from uh, uh, admissions to uh, food to parking to traffic. So we uh, divided up among the executive committees the different uh, functions that needed to be covered for the show. Uh, we've had um, in the past uh, three years, uh, well, in, a, in at least the last year and a half, have been have been meeting nearly monthly to sort of keep on track with uh, uh, with uh, covering the details. The executive committee members then identify either a chair or co-chairs to really put the, the sort of the boots on the ground to begin to get other volunteers to help them uh, do the tasks that, uh, that uh, need to be done. So the, it really is pretty organized, and uh, uh, the volunteers very, uh, have just done a, a lot of excitement and have done a great job of uh, stepping up to, to do what, what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that the farm consists of about 600 acres. How much of that farm is actually going to be taken over by yeah. Farm Technology uh, Days? Yeah. Uh, the tent city area where we have our uh, commercial exhibitors is about 75 acres. Uh, between two different parking areas, we have about 100 acres for parking. And then we have about uh, 250 acres that will be used for uh, field demonstrations. Mm -hmm. And... Um, um, so an opportunity for uh, implement uh, companies to put their equipment in the field and uh, those attending can sort of uh, see it operate and uh, ev make their evaluations uh, in the field that way. Farm Technology Days has a long history, but will there be anything unique about this year's program here in Sheboygan County? Well, one of the things that, uh, that I find uh, sort of particularly interesting is that uh, for the first time this year, the entire show, the electrical needs of the entire, sh entire show will be uh, uh, provided uh, using um, generators. So we uh, are renting uh, Kohler generators to provide the, uh, the power for the show. And uh, then uh, with a, a sponsorship from the Wisconsin Soybean Marketing Board, 
uh, received a, uh, a sponsorship to purchase soy biodiesel. So we'll, we'll be running soy biodiesel in our generators and also in all the, uh, the, the field equipment. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've, we've got this little tagline that says uh, 2006 Farm Technology Days powered by soy biodiesel. So it, you know, it's, we have farmers that produce the fuel that we can burn in our generators and equipment to, uh, to power the show. So nice, right. uh, nice fit there. So. Sure. How many commercial exhibitors will be at the show? Yeah, we expect um, about 600 um, commercial exhibitors uh, from about 25 different states. And I also understand there's exhibitors coming from uh, Brazil and Canada as well. Mm. Now the show will run for three days. How many people do you expect over that three day period of time? Uh, we would estimate somewhere in the, um, in the neighborhood of 25 to, uh, to 75,000 people over that three-day period. Okay. I've heard a figure of what the economic impact will be upon Sheboygan County, but I can't remember what that is, but it seemed like a fantastic number for Sheboygan County. Do you happen yeah, to have that um, figure? Yeah, I've seen a range of numbers um, from six to um, ten million dollars of, uh, of local impact um, mm -hmm. because of the show. We generally, um, in our planning, um, require that, uh, anticipate that about a thousand hotel rooms uh, will be used uh, primarily by the exhibitors who are in town for at least a week in most cases by the time they come in set up and then tear down after the show. Um, so, you know, it's those uh, dollars spent on lodging, uh, restaurants, and, uh, you know, transportation coming in and, in and out of town. So uh, a rather uh, significant uh, opportunity for, for local uh, businesses, restaurants, hotels to, uh, to uh, capture that market for a couple days. Really a great time to once again showcase wonderful Sheboygan County. <laughs> well, it really is, and there's, there's a, a lot for people um, to see here. Uh, and one of the great things about hosting the show in Sheboygan County is that we're both rural and urban. And uh, um, so there's a lot of uh, activities for, for our guests if they're not attending the show to uh, take, uh, uh, get to learn other parts of uh, Sheboygan County. Thank you. Six to ten million dollars of economic impact. And I think the county board, when they authorized this, what was the county's contribution? About 40,000? Mike, do you recall? Was well, there's, um, yeah, there's, there's um, uh, actually, and half of that um, 40,000 is seed money, right. which uh, will, be, will be paid back right. to, to the county. As so a, a $20,000 investment for a six to $10 million economic impact on the community. Mm. I think that's a pretty good bargain. Well, and it's a, you know it's a it's a tribute to to all the time and effort of the uh, the volunteers um, who have you know worked the last couple of years on uh, putting the show together. So. Absolutely, and the folks like yourself and the, all the staff that you've been coordinating with. I know you mentioned earlier the the range and the diversity of the executive committee that's worked with different areas and and the tremendous job they're doing. And clearly, you and they have been reaching out to some of our departments, such as the the sheriff on traffic control and highway on getting the driveways set up and the airport with some of these folks coming in. What did you say from Brazil? Yeah, Brazil and Canada we have people coming from, so uh, yeah, right. Pretty tremendous and, and folks are adding that on to their general course of work, so right. we appreciate that. Uh, Bill just mentioned it and you, you, you did a nice job discussing it that in Sheboygan County we're more unique here because we have such a nice diversity of rural and urban and obviously we have such a beautiful county. Uh, I imagine there are viewers watching this thinking, hmm, farm technology days, this sounds, sounds interesting. I'd like to check this out. If they're not a farmer or if they're not one of those 9,200 people involved with agriculture here, what does this show have to offer them? Well, um, from, the, from the beginning in our planning process, we were we were thinking about urban folks uh, attending, or at least reaching out to the urban community to uh, consider uh, attending the, the show. So uh, because Sheboygan County is both uh, urban and rural, uh, 
because we're relatively close to Milwaukee and relatively close to, to Green Bay, we thought we really wanted to do an outreach uh, to, the, to the urban community. And one of the underlying objectives, because there is really such a small number of us still involved in production agriculture, is that we feel we need to, uh, we want to educate uh, the general public about what is happening in, in agriculture and a little bit about it. So we've, uh, um, a couple of committees have spent most of their time developing um, <clears throat> opportunities for um, families to, uh, to spend the day at Farm Technology Days. We have an area called Family Farm Adventure and uh, we'll include uh, areas like uh, there's a petting zoo, there's a, uh, a fish farming area, there's an area called uh, an energy zone. I'm not exactly sure what that is but it sounds like it's good for kids. Uh, there'll be a, a little area on mink education um, there's an, you know, we'll also have some cultural things. The uh, the monk community will be there with some uh, dancing performances, uh, and uh, we'll also have the the cows on parade, which is a a promotion of uh, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, and we'll have uh, several of of those life size uh, made out of fiberglass, uh, uh, painted by artists there. So uh, there really will be a lot of things for. Um, uh, families, uh, even if they've, uh, if they if they don't know anything about agriculture, uh, to to stop out and and uh, spend the day. Uh, children under 12 are free. Um, those over 12 and adults are uh, three dollars. Hmm. Parking is free, so um, it'd be three dollars. Three dollars admission. Parking's free. So. Um, and uh, there is a, uh, uh, a food of uh, food and, and drink available. Um, on site, and of course, being Sheboygan County, we will be uh, serving Johnsonville brats, and uh, the big grill is we'll be cooking them up. So, um, but a great way for a family that might be interested just to to uh, learn a little bit about agriculture, be outside, and, and uh, spend the day. Yeah, great we'd way like, to bring that. We'd like to have great way to bring the community all together. Yeah, really, uh, really is the um, the parking you mentioned. It sounds like 100 acres of parking. And I imagine there's going to be some people who might be concerned about, well, when you park that vehicle, how far are you going to have to walk to get to the entrance gate? Or there might be some folks who have trouble walking. Yeah. What kind of accommodations do you have? Well, for those people who uh, may need some assistance on our uh, north gate, we do have a handicap parking area, which is right outside the gate. And uh, then if they would like, they can um, rent on site for the day uh, a scooter, a handicapped scooter kind of thing to uh, to get them around. Now you can imagine 75 acres is a pretty big acre, uh, pretty big area, and uh, people are going to be there is a need to walk if you're going to see the show. But so for those, and then in our uh, general parking area, uh, we will have what we call trams that will be uh, picking up people, getting them um, closer to the gates so they're not needing to walk the uh, the entire distance. So. Pretty impressive. Well, I think, uh, I don't, you know, the volunteers and all the individuals, uh, the Sheboygan County uh, department heads uh, have done a great job of uh, providing us the, the assistance. Uh, Land Conservation Department has served a lot of uh, surveying. Uh, Information Systems has, uh, has done our website. And... Uh, I would encourage uh, people if they're thinking about coming out to uh, to visit our website. Uh, it'll they'll get a lot of information about the show layout and activities if they do go to the website before they come out to kind of get them oriented mm -hmm. uh, to the site. And there's uh, there's maps. So I I think if they'll just uh, even Google uh, Farm Technology Days, they they should be should get to our to our website. Very so. good. And if they have trouble getting to the website or if they just have more questions, is there a general line or someone you would encourage them to call? Yeah, I would uh, have them call our um, UW Extension office, and uh, that would number is 467-5742. Uh, 467-5742. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and we'd good. be uh, happy to uh, provide any other uh, information. For me, it was a little bit of a step back in time at the media day. I, Imagine, what were there, maybe 200 people there that About day? About 200 people, yeah. And um, one of your executive committee members is the former Allison Dairyland. Right. Is she not? That's right. 
and I worked at uh, the Department of Ag Trade and Consumer Protection well when she was selected. Didn't get to know her real well, but uh, you know, saw her in action a little bit, and I just recalled having a real positive first impression of her. She's outgoing. She's just a positive person to be around. And at Media Day, I know the two of you had a leadership role, and, and in particular, she was introducing all the executive committee members, as well as the new Allison Dairyland, and just was very impressed with her. I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about some of the key people you have. Yeah, um, her name is uh, Courtney Booth, and um, she has uh, provided all of her leadership for publicity and promotions, and uh, having been uh, Wisconsin's 50th uh, Allison Dairyland, sort of had this, developed the skills and I think has even continued to develop uh, those skills uh, since, mm -hmm. since that role. But uh, other, uh, uh, the experience of uh, Supervisor Jens, uh, uh, yeah. Bill was uh, on the executive committee in 1975. So his, uh, his experience and also his uh, um, connection and uh, supervisor role on the county board has has been a, a great help too. So, uh, all of the executive committee members, and like I said, there's there's 15 of them, and uh, but they have all done uh, an outstanding job. And I often think that if I would have had a, a huge budget to uh, hire people, I mean, I couldn't have hired 15 better people to do the job. So, excellent. Well, Mike, we sure appreciate you taking some time to join us today and share with our viewers what's happening with Farm Technology J Days, again, July 11th, 12th, and 13th. And it just sounds like it's going to be fantastic. We just need the weather to cooperate. Well, that's, that's right. We're looking forward to a, a great show, and we'd like to uh, invite uh, urban and rural to, uh, to attend. So. Well, thanks for joining us, and thank you for joining us. Appreciate you being with us today. I hope you learned a little bit more about one of the many programs that the Sheboygan County works with, and Mike certainly has done a tremendous job, and we sure appreciate and know this wouldn't happen if it wasn't for the generosity of all of the volunteers in this community. I just, when I see something like this come together, I can't help but just be so impressed with the generosity of people in this community and all the donations and time, and it's fantastic. So please, take the time to get out there. Get it on the calendars. Until next time, on behalf of Chairman Bill Gehring and myself and the Sheboygan County Board, again, thanks for joining us. Next month, we're going to focus a little bit more on the county budget development, and uh, that work has begun to ensue, and that's one of the challenges, certainly, that the county board has and every department employee has, but we'll touch on that a little bit more. But until then, thank you for joining us.